Hi, I'm back with Cat Kits Medieval, and today it's all about portals. So when you first start off in the game, you're going to have to just travel the regular ways, which is one of them is by ship. So if you leave the kingdom and you're outside the, the kingdom walls, you can go up here to this ship and talk to this cat. And that cat will ask if you want to sail, and you can pick two different areas. And we're going to pick the islands. So now I'm here in the islands. So every area you go to has a very similar structure. This right here, you see that? Where it has a portal key. All you have to do is run through it, and now I've unlocked the portal key. Now if I click M, I have my map up. See, there's a portal right there. And you can see them all over the map and each new little area. And there's another portal. And there's a portal. And you see this one's different. That's highlighted in green. I'm about to go back to it. Now I'm going to click on it. And it gives me the travel option. It's because I have that portal key. When I collect that portal key, it'll highlight in green. And I can use that portal. So it's a really cool thing to have. The other way you have to travel in the very beginning of the game to get to these new areas is also by our cave system. So here are two caves. I can go one way or the other. So we're going to go this way and we're going to go through this cave system and I'm going to show you what this cave system is like in our game and what you would do when you were playing the game. It's pretty cool. The cave systems are always fun to explore but sometimes you'll get to a point where you might not have finished a task in an area so it's always really handy to have that portal key so you can travel back really quickly. And here I am in the caves and like I said they're fun to explore. They're new and different but you don't want to constantly having to be traveling back in them. And here I have to fight this bad guy. Yep, you will have bad guys to fight in the cave system of course. So taking him down. Gotta take down this other bad guy. And then I'm flipping this switch back over here because that switch is going to open a gate for me so I can go to a new area in Cat Gets Medieval. And Cat Gets Medieval is a pretty big game. A lot of people don't realize how big Cat Gets Medieval is, but we have a lot of areas, a lot of areas to explore. So it's a lot of fun, and we wanted to make it a little bit easier for players um, who've already been to the area but want to go back quickly. So we created these portal keys. And see, there's the same similar structure you saw earlier. There's the portal key, ran through it. Now I have the portal key and I can go back there quickly anytime. And right here I was going to show you these signs because this shows you three other areas that you can go to in Cat Gets Medieval. Now I've clicked in, gone to my map, I'm looking at my highlighted uh, the portals I have that are highlighted green are the ones that I have. The ones that don't highlight, I haven't gotten them yet. So I am now going to go travel back to the kingdom. And as you can see, it's a pretty fast travel. So once you've gone to an area, it's always great to collect those keys so you can easily travel back. They're just a lot of fun to have. And here I'm going to show you. I'm deciding I'm going to go back to the island. Hit travel. Again, super quick back there like that. Didn't have to go outside the kingdom back to the ship to talk to the cat. I just had to click my map and then click on that portal and there I was. So it's really simple and easy. Portals are a lot of fun. Very useful in this game because it's a very big game. So I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.